Okay, here's another uh, not short tutorial. Actually, this is a long tutorial on how to um, auto size the pipe accessories when you place into a pipe. So the usual process is, for example, this one. I did, I did not modify this one. I did not customize, edit. So if I create this one, uh, as you see here, it will not follow the sizing of the pipe. Okay. So this one, oh, I already customized this one. I downloaded this one in the internet. I will show you where I did find it. So this one is plumbing ball valve. Okay, I, this is a, I customized this one. So it will automate now when I place the pipe accessories to the pipes directly. So I'm just showing you. Okay. So the original file came from here. If you search in the internet, uh, you watch here. You copy this one forum so you have here a question in Autodesk and here is the family um, this one I download this one and check the process of the parameter and then I integrate it into the uh, default family in our template so just click this one and download I'll show you what is the actual family so if I open that one in the downloads it is in here uh, this one this is the one that I download from that site in the Autodesk so but this one has a limited uh, sizing if I load this one into the project it has only a few sizing so I don't know if this one is it will Okay, this one's working. This one, this one, this one, this one is still working. It's still working. How about this one? Also, this one is not working, and this the other one. You see, it will not work. It has only a uh, cost, few options, a few types for that family. So let's undo that one. So if we go back here and then check here, so it has a lot of uh, parameter uh, with linking together, okay? So just uh, open it and study it and crack well, how the, what is the process and how the, the owner, how they set up this one. And to, to tell you also this one. He is using manage uh, lookup table. So this one. Okay. So now I uh, will close this one. Let's focus now on how to create, how uh, to convert this uh, gate, gate valve into uh, automatic parametric pipe sizing. Similar to this, uh, this is already converted the process um, here, converted into the default family. So if I open this gate valve, I have already, this is not, uh, the, the process is the same, but the, the information, parameter information is different. So you see, this is, is a smaller, a few, on, few parameters only. So we close this one, and if you check again, if you sample this one, it will change also so all the sizing. So we are updating all our uh, pipe accessories now to automate all the sizings, including this few. So once you have the process, then it's easier. So I will show you how to do that in this family gate valve okay so let's, let's, let's go to it let's work so for example this one I have to uh, okay 
So in the parameter, this one will be ACA. Okay. So what you need to do first is to convert most of the parameter into um, delete this one into instance parameter. So steam height, you convert this one to instance. And then this one, convert also instance. Convert also instance. Okay. And the middle diameter, convert also instance. And this one, convert also. Uh, convert also this one to instance flange. So, so after you convert it into uh, instance parameter, you will check all this. Okay. Now uh, another uh, topic. If you want to watch the actual tutorial also in thinking learning uh, you you can watch also and so that you will have a background by Paul Alpin and you can check it here uh, for the The lock off, okay. This one, you can, you can watch here. You can watch here by Paul Oven. Uh, see the link. So, okay. Again, that's another reference to work with it. A background that one. So, anyway, let's continue. So in this one you have DN now. So now you go to the diameter first. Diameter. Diameter will be size that here. Size. Look up. Look up the table name. This one. Then start DN zero MM then DN close valid in Ah, okay. I think I did not include yet the imported uh, lockup table. So, gate valve open. And then, so you type now the formula. Check your lockup table. So, the table is this is the sizing of that one. If I open the lockup, and this is the table you have here the sizing length uh, okay the sizing diameter uh, the body length body body diameter okay so that's the value so again in here let's continue I think 15 minutes is not enough then after that one, um, body length. So for the body length, body length, this time is type here, size again, size, a table name, body length, BD. A B L B L zero D N right and what else 
body diameter copy again this one and then body anyway we can change it later or the, the sizing okay and then what else um, okay now uh, you check all the I already saved the lockup table here from the original source and I, I match and converted it study the link of the parameter so after that one you check all the size like up possible size lock up so one two three okay so this is the original parameter before we go in, we convert this to instance so you check now all the uh, locking param uh, input so for steam diameter or steam diameter nominal diameter times 3 so you go here steam diameter nominal diameter copy this one my point is you just match the previous parameter and apply it here using the size lock now so for example for open height is open height okay we put it here and we put it this one here oh my omg okay just again just match all this uh, this previous original uh, parameter formula and match to the new one okay so I will post okay after you populate all the information here the, at the formula you have to delete the rest of the, rest of, of the type remain only this and then rename just put uh, create valve okay so after you place on uh, after you finish all the information uh, okay after you finish you select again this one you change to the end Reduce diameter to the end. So if you check now this one, let's say you want to 100. So it will change also. And then you save and then load in the project. So it's a little, a little exaggerated. But I will show you. It will work. And just change the, just change the V lockup table, and you will change the sizing of the flange. You know. So that's the process. I think it's a little too big for this one. So for exaggeration, but. Uh, that's the process doing that so I'm applying this one to all our uh, pipe accessories so I'm applying it to our water meter uh, flexible joint strainer and for the PUV water meter so yeah I hope it's helpful and you have an idea I just uh, read that all those um, link resources this one just read here and you will understand what's the process so that's it i hope you enjoy and converting your pipe accessory to automate on resizing